Hey guys, how's it going? In this video, I'll be guiding you through all the tips and tricks you should know in order to improve your sniping skills. With that being said, let me get started. The first thing I'll be going over is how to find the range of a target. Determining how far away an enemy is from you is one of the most important things you can know when sniping. First, I'll go over the dimensions of the minimap. The minimap is 400 meters by 400 meters, and your marker is placed dead center. So that means to either side of you is about 200 meters. If a player is much further than 200 meters, that's when using the actual map can become very useful. The large dark squares make up an area of 1000 meters by 1000 meters. And the smaller squares inside of them are 100 meters by 100 meters. So as an example, these people on the bridge are about 800 meters away when you look at them on the map. Yes, there is only seven tiles between me and the enemy, but you have to remember to add extra distance since the target is at 45 degree angle from me instead of being at 90 degrees or 180 degrees. Now once you get the distance of your target, just adjust the zeroing of the sniper by pressing up or down on the D-pad. After this, all you have to do is line up the scope to your target and voila, you'll find yourself getting more and more headshots. Now for me, I really only use the zeroing mechanic for targets that are over 400 meters away. So you really won't need this in many gunfights, but when you do, it can come in handy. The only bad thing about this is forgetting to change the zeroing distance back to 100 meters, which is just as bad as leaving your assault rifle in single fire. Another tip I use when sniping far distances is to remain in the scope after I shot. This allows me to see where my bullet landed so I can adjust my aim to better hit the target the next time I shoot. The next thing I'll be going over is bullet velocity. Bullet velocity is key in knowing when to shoot a target. In this picture right here, you can see the bullet speeds for all bolt action sniper rifles. If you're trying to shoot at a player with a CAR-98 or M24 that's running, then you would have to aim a little bit further in front of the player than if you are using an AWM. That's because the AWM's bullet speed is a lot faster than the CAR-98 and M24, so it would take a shorter amount of time to travel to the opponent. One tip I use when shooting players that are running far distances is to shoot about one body mold in front of them for every 100 meters they are away from you. By doing this simple trick, you should start to hit moving targets more consistently. Another tip to know when using bolt action snipers is that compensators do very little compared to a suppressor or a flash hider. A compensator on a bolt action rifle will barely reduce its recoil. So that's why going with a suppressor or a flash hider is a much better option because the perks for those attachments far outweigh the compensator's perks. Another thing I can't go over enough in my tip videos is to constantly change positions. By changing positions, you are always remaining stealthy. If you continue to fire shots from one location, it's more than likely more than one player will know where you are at all times. So that's why when I snipe, I usually take a few shots and immediately run to a different location so the players looking for me will get thrown off or the players I'm shooting at will think I'm somewhere else. Changing positions and constantly moving also allows you to remain in control in final circle situations. If you are always moving, you will see more players to snipe and less people can come up from behind and kill you. So that's one of the main reasons you will tend to not see me sit in one location and snipe. Another thing is that you can zoom using the 15 time scope or the 8 time scope. You can do this by holding RB and pushing up or down with the left stick. The last tip I'll give you guys is for when you're in a sniper shootout. The best time to take out the other sniper that you are shooting at is to wait for him to line up a shot on you. Right when he does this, he will be standing still, aiming down his sights. That's when you shoot his head off. I see too many of my teammates not looking down their sights waiting for the other player to aim at them. Rather, they just peek their head out every so often and the other player already has their scope where they're going to peek. So make sure to try to pre-aim where you think that sniper will be trying to shoot you from. Well guys, that's going to be it for this video. If you have any ideas that you want me to go over, make sure to drop them in the comments. Also, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and share it with your friends. 
I'll be making a video in the future going over my personal favorite sensitivity settings. So make sure to look out for that as well. Finally, if you liked what you saw, don't forget to subscribe. I try to put out content like this every week. As always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.